Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're going to test T-Rex Miner's lock core clock argument in Windows to reduce the wattage of RGPUs while mining. All right, so if you need a little bit of background, there's an argument that you can use with TRX Miner in Windows. You can do this in Hive OS 2, and it locks the core clock of your GPU. And what it will do is really reduce the wattage while keeping the same hash rate when you're mining. And I got a bunch of GPUs right here before me, and we're gonna test each one to see a before and after. To walk you through, I got a 1660 Super, 1660 Ti, 2070 Super, 3060, 3060 Ti, 3070, and 3080. And what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go one by one and test each GPU with this new T-Rex miner. And I'll have chapters and everything below, so if you wanna to skip to your specific GPU, please feel free to do that. When we do the first one, I'll walk you through everything and how to get it set up, and then I'll quickly go through each GPU and we're gonna measure the wattage at the wall and the software and see what kind of results we get. So let's get going. All right, first up I chose my 2070 Super and we're gonna walk through T-Rex Miner and Lock Core Clock with this GPU because the 20 series, from what I've seen, have the most dramatic results in reducing the wattage. So we'll start off there. Got it in my test bench here. We got some wattage readings uh, for the whole system up there. And it's been mining for a little bit, doing around 61 mega hash and pulling around 130 watts. And these are what I would typically use for this GPU as far as uh, overclock settings. Power limited, way down core clock way down, and then memory clock around 650 or so. And that would give me about 41 mega hash or so at 125, 130 watts. So that's the benchmark, that's the before. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna dive into T-Rex Miner and use lock core clock, and I'll walk you through how that works. Okay, so first thing you need to do is obviously get T-Rex Miner. And then once you have that, you're gonna go over to your batch file I'm going to use this Ethermine one, and typically all you would do is come in here, maybe just change the pool if you needed to, and then add your address in. Uh, but what we're going to do is take this a step further, and we're going to do the instructions that are in the README uh, for lock core clocks. So open the README here, and we're going to go down, and you can see lock C clock, and that's the instructions that we're going to follow in order to have TRX minor lock the core clock of the GPU for us. So we're gonna add that into the miner here. So we can add it really anywhere we want. I'm just gonna add it at the end. And it's dash dash block dash C clock. And then what we need is a number to lock the core clock to. And I have a little cheat sheet here. And I'll have this in the description in case you need it. And you can see the 2070 Super, we're going to go from 1000 to 1050. I'm going to start on the higher end. And I'm just going to enter that into the batch file of this miner. Now, one thing that you need to do as I save that is you need to run this as administrator. But there's one more step that you're going to have to follow because I'm going to show you what's going to happen. If you right click this uh, batch file run as admin, let me close out the other one. What's gonna happen is you're gonna get an error, okay? So what we need to do is actually add the whole path of that miner into our batch file. So normally it would just be trex.exe. So let's do this. So we're gonna go over to trex. I'm gonna get some properties on it. And there's the whole location path for this miner. So let's go ahead and copy that. Control C action. And that's what I'm gonna put in this batch file before T-Rex. Paste that in. And now I have the whole file path in there. So let's go ahead and save that. And now, when I open that batch file and run as administrator, it'll start and it'll start mining. So you can see here, GPU, 2070 Super, core clock locked at 1050. All right, a couple other things. You need to adjust your typical MSI afterburner settings. And really what you need to do is get your power limit. You can just leave it at zero. You can leave it at zero. No, okay. 
Zero, or I'm sorry, 100. We'll leave it at 100. Uh, and then your core clock now is going to be handled by T-Rex, so leave that at zero. And your memory clock is really the only thing that you need to worry about using this. So let's go ahead and monitor our performance here and our wattage. So looking over here, you see our wattage is already way down, 120 watts full system. And we're going to see what this miner pulls up and reports in the software for wattage, and then what kind of hash rate we get using lock core clock. All right, so we've been mining for a few minutes here and I wanted to wait for us to get an accepted share, which we did. And you can see that this 2070 Super is now mining at 41.2 mega hash at only 87 watts, which is absolutely accurate because look how much that wattage dropped at the wall too. So this is absolutely killer. 20 series cards, your 2060s, your 2070s, 2080s, if you have one of those cars, you need to do this ASAP. But yeah, killer results. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get that GPU off there. And we're going to go through one by one and do a before and after of T-Rex Miner using the lock core clock argument. All right, next up is this 1660 Super. So I have it mining already with T-Rex at the overclocks that I would typically use for this GPU. There's a look at them there. And you can see that'll get us around 35 and a half mega hash at 75 watts on Ethereum. So let's go ahead and see what happens now if we lock the core clock, which the 1660 Super wants to be locked in the same range as the 2070 Super there. So we're gonna use the high one in this case, and we're gonna lock the core clock at 1050. Let's go ahead and save that batch file, exit the miner, and let's relaunch T-Rex miner Oop, gotta do it as admin. Let's relaunch TRX Miner as admin and see what kind of results we get here. Alright, so we got our first share accepted at 31.7 mega hash on the 1660 Super. And you can see we dropped the wattage down to 67 watts. So we just saved 5, 6, 7, 8 watts on this GPU. So really, really, really good stuff. So that's the 1660 Super. We're gonna do the TI next. All right, up next is the 1660 TI. So I have that hashing over here. Hit around 30 mega hash per second using 76 watts. And you can see the overclocks I would typically use for this GPU. So rinse and repeat, here we go. Let's open up batch file here. And this also uses the same core clock as the GPUs we've done so far. So I'm just gonna go ahead, add that into the end of this batch file. We'll save that, close T-Rex, and we'll go ahead and run as administrator. All right, let's see what we get here out of the 1660 Ti. All right, here we go. So we settled out 30.29 mega hash at only 63 watts on this GPU. It's just insane results for this 1660 Ti. Really, really, really good. Okay, uh, next we're gonna do something a little different and we're gonna move up to the 3060. All right, next up is the RTX 3060, which as you probably all remember, needs to be in a full PCIe slot and connected to a monitor or dummy plug in order to get full hash rate. So I have it over in my PC here. And you might be wondering, hey Mike, why don't you just use the full slot on your motherboard here on your test bench? Well, the reason I can't is because once upon a time, I plugged one of these in backwards and fried that slot super bad. So I can't use it. So it's in that PC down there. So that's what we're looking at here. So it's been mining for a little bit. And we're touching 49.3 mega hash at 115 watts, which is really good. So the overclocks I'm using, MSI Afterburner for this GPU, you can see right there. So let's go ahead and close out the miner. Reset the power limit. And the core clock is already at zero. And we're gonna do 1350 for the lock core clock here. Let's save that. 
go over to the batch file, run it as admin, open it up, and let's see what kind of performance we get out of the RTX 3060 with lock core clock. All right, so I've been mining for a minute or two now, and you can see it took it down a little too much, 46 mega hash at 103 watts. So let's do some adjustments here to the core clock on this. And I think what I'm gonna do is bring it up a little bit. So let me try that and we'll see what kind of results we get. All right, so I made some adjustments here. I wound up actually going with a uh, clock lock of 1470 and that's given me some of the best results so far. So it's hitting about 49 mega hash at 110, 111 watts. Uh, we shaved off five watts there, but this is an example of some of the tinkering you might have to do for your specific GPU, and that's why there's a range given of where you might land your core clock. So that is the RTX 3060. All right, up next, Founders Edition RTX 3060 Ti. So I got it mining. Right now, getting 61, 62 mega hash, 125 watts. Uh, those are the clocks that I would typically use for this GPU. So let's go ahead and get the core clock locked in for the 3060 Ti. We're gonna be using 1350 as our lock core clock. So we're gonna save that batch file again and then close out T-Rex Miner, run as admin, and let's see what kind of results we get. We gotta reset our core clock here and our power limit because the lock core clock will take care of all that for us. And let's see what kind of difference that makes. All right, it's been a few minutes here, so you can see the results. We're down to 115, 116 watts. We did lose a mega hash off of our uh, hash rate here, so we dropped down to 60.5. So this is an instance where you might want to tinker with this a little more because that is a range that you can use, 1300, 1350. You can go outside that range just a little bit and really decide if you're gonna get you know, more efficient or not, depending on, on using lock core clock, but still, bringing that wattage down, really nice to see, really happy with those results, but this might be a GPU that I could tinker with just a little bit more. Okay, you're looking at the RTX 3070 MSI over there, so it's been mining for a little bit. Again, around 61 and a half mega hash, 131 watts on this GPU using these overclocks in MSI. So let's do our thing. And one thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at here, so the 3070, you can see it's got a pretty wide range, 885 to 1150 to lock the core clock to. And what I'm gonna try is that 885 because I'm looking at where the core clock is right now and it's in the 800s. So I'm gonna try that first and see what kind of results we get. So let me go ahead and close out T-Rex Miner, reset our core clocks and our power limits keep that memory clock plus 1300. I have the lock clock added there at 885. Let's go ahead and save that batch file. Run it as administrator. And let's see what we get with that 885 on this RTX 3070. All right, it's been mining for a little bit and it's hitting 59 mega hash at 119 watts, but ah, that's just, too much of a mega hash loss for me. So that was the 885 I tried locking the core clock to. So I think with this GPU, I'm gonna do a little bit experimenting because I have quite a few of them. And I'm gonna try the other end of the spectrum and go up to 1150 and see what kind of results I get with that. So let's close this miner out. We're gonna head back to the batch file and we're gonna choose 1150 this time. Just go to the complete other side of the range. Let's go ahead and save that and run it as administrator. And let's see what kind of changes this makes on the 3070. All right, I'm feeling much better about that. You can see we're at 61 and a half mega hash, 121 watts. So we shaved off 10 watts, but maintained a really good mega hash. There's probably a little room where you can experiment there, but I'm feeling really good about that. So that's the RTX 3070. All right, last but not least, RTX 3080. So I've had it mining for a little bit here. And you can see it's getting about 95 mega hash at 232 watts. Um, those are the overclocks that I use for this specific Gigabyte RTX 3080. So now let's see what we get if we do some 
changes with locking the core clock. So I'm going to quit the miner, and you can see the range is there, 10, 10 to 10, 60. Went ahead and put that in my miner. We're going to do 10, 60. Let's save that batch file. Let's make sure we reset the power limits and the core clock. Keep that memory clock at 925. Let's go ahead and open the miner as an administrator and see what kind of results we get for the RTX 3080. All right, let's take a look. So we're hitting that 95 mega hash and we've dropped down to 212 watts. So we've saved quite a bit of wattage here using T-Rex Miner Lock Core Clock on the RTX 3080. So that's it guys, that is every GPU that I have that is eligible to be tested for this. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope it was helpful to you. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe for more content on GPU mining, join my Discord if you wanna chat. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.